Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So this is the job that I've been dreading for a very, very long time. This is the loft to my bungalow. As you can see, it's a nice, decent height. Um, but this is all coming off. The whole thing is being taken off and a second floor being put on. Looks quite small, the footprint, when you're looking at it like this, but actually, it is a quite a generous size. It's 11 and a half meters by seven and a half meters. Um, so yeah, this is gonna be a little time lapse just showing the horrible, horrible job of taking up all this insulation. Uh, I'm gonna bag it and bin it and then buy new stuff when it comes to finally having the, uh, the loft on the new part. As you can see, I ain't taking any chances. This fiberglass is absolutely horrible. So I've got this ventilated mask that I'll be using to take all the fiberglass up so I'm not breathing in all the uh, little particles that you can't see. So um, wish me luck um, and let's crack on. Okay, so we're getting there, slowly but surely. Took most of that up. Most of this, it's got to do this bit down the side. And I've got to take all the, uh, the boards up and just get the last little bits underneath. But that is a lot of fiberglass, look at that. I don't know how I'm gonna get rid of all of that, to be honest with you. Not got a clue. Um, so yeah. Just carry on, I guess, until it's all up.
So just a quick update. I spent two days up here, took all the insulation and all the boarding out yesterday. And then today, I basically spent four hours just hoovering it all out. Basically the whole thing has been hoovered out. Just so when I start ripping the ceilings down, I don't get smothered in 40, 50, 60 year old dust and shit that's been stashed in all the, uh, between the joists. So that is basically the floor space we're dealing with. It's a 7.7 .7 meters wide by 11.5 meters long. Um, so obviously we'll be taking all of this off and the floors off. So all you'll see when next time I'm up in this position, all you'll see is literally walls. Um, I can see the wall plate now, that's been exposed. Now all the lagging's up. So you can see that there. It's a solid brick wall. Um, the inside half of the wall, they've obviously put their wall plate on for the, uh, to take the ceiling, the roof rafters. So that's all got to come off. And then it looks like they've just made up the second outside course of it just to reach the wall plate level. I put my hand in between um, and you can pretty much get the depth of that timber down and then um, the void goes and you've got a solid wall. So I've got two options. I either delicately, once the roof's off, take that timber wall plate off and then chisel away. So I take both top layers off until it's nice and level and flat or I pack up the outside part of the wall with timbers so it's level with the inside wall plate which looks quite good to be honest put some chemical fixings all the way in that internal wall plate so it's solidly fixed to the brick and then go across with my 9x2 wall plate over the top of the existing timber and then screw it into the outside timber so that's one option but that'll mean my floor joists are a little bit higher so I lose a little bit of upstairs space so they're the two options that I've got I either take that original wall plate off and re-brick up to make good and then put my new wall plate on or level up the outside to the internal wall plate and then put a, a spreader wall plate across both so that's where we're at at the moment so when I move out next week I will decommission the water tanks there remove all of that and then it's just a case weather permitting removing all the tiles and starting to take down the roof. It's quite a high pitch roof. Um, it's quite a few meters high that, so it won't be easy. But um, obviously I want it to be as dry as possible. But the timbers, to be fair, all look pretty good and solid. So I may well try and reuse some of them for the stud walls on the second floor. Again, all these ceiling joists there look pretty good. So you can see there, this is the main wall that runs down the spine of the bungalow. So that's what spreads the load and supports the main part of the roof. We then got a little spreader beam here that also sits on the middle wall and supports the sides. But yes, what you're looking at here is 70 year old roof structure. And to be honest, it's sound. You know, this would have lasted another 40, 50 years, easy. Maybe the felting and that is obviously old and had it and could do replacing, so it's not the most efficient, but just shows. And I bet you that's built nowhere near to the same standards that some builders build to nowadays. But it's solid. It's a happy day, so yeah, tune in next time to be able to hopefully see me starting to dismantle the roof.